Good afternoon and welcome to another video on the Autoblog YouTube channel. Today we have an awesome video in store. I guess it's sort of a redemption time here for the AMG Beast. Some might remember a video that we did in December last year. We met up with my buddy Mike Empisuti on Instagram and his C63, which at the time was tuned. And uh, we did visit Mexico to see what the difference would be in uh, the two cars. But now that my car is tuned as well and has downpipes, this is gonna be very interesting. Let's get on the road. So here we are in Mike's beautiful selenite gray C63. Let me back in here. What's up, bud? What's up, sexy? <laughs> you got all the stickers off already. Yeah. I thought we'd find you here all stickered up. Sounds good. Start turning in here. It sounded really good. Yeah, it sounds so much better in real life. I mean, I heard it for the first time when Alex drove it. Well, it's funny. I was watching that video how many times it was back and I was like, holy crap. <laughs> the reason why it went for that long was because he was in a downhill and the yeah. car wasn't losing yeah. speed at, at the, you know, the same way. Um, and on video, it, it kind of sounds like a popcorn machine, but in real life, it sounds like, you know, Machine Gun Kelly. It is uh, show time. We're going to get our professional stick drivers coming here pretty soon. But I figured we'd talk about uh, the differences in our cars. They are very, very similar. But uh, the thing now, you have a Dyna tune. Correct. And neither of us have really dyno our cars. So no. We don't know exactly what they're putting down. But uh, in my case, I have a, a Velos tune. As most of you guys know, when I was in Miami, I got it tuned. And I got the down, down pipes on there as well. And from C63s that they've done the same two down there, they put down 550 to the wheels. It's about 630 crank with the downpipes. Now you don't have downpipes. No downpipes. So exhaust. this run around here, it's actually gonna be my car that has a slight upper edge in power. Last time it was definitely you, you walked me hard. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, my car was stock. So other than that, I mean, it's just, Mike's car is, is uh, pretty stock. He actually has, for some might remember, he has my, Carbon fiber wing. My original carbon fiber wing. So when I put the uh, mode carbon one on, he bought that one. And I, I had the wheel set up, it's lowered and that kind of thing and the diffuser, but that's not really gonna do much for performance. But that's the difference. So uh, enough talking, let's get on the road. Here we are. Uh, we got our cars back from our professional drivers, and uh, we've been waiting here. What, what do you think of the results? We saw some video clips, Mike. It was it was pretty even. Yeah, I um, would say you took one, I took one type thing or stain, but yours with the downpipes definitely has a little bit of edge, especially from a low lower, end torque, right? Low end. 
besides that, I mean, I miss like when we try to do from the dig. Yeah. I forgot it was a manual and it hit the rev limiter and fell on its face. Right. But so besides that, it ran, they ran yeah, almost identical. Yeah, as expected. I yeah. mean, they're very similar power numbers. I mean, yours has like 610 with the tune, but you don't have the down pipes. Mine has the down pipes, um, so I'm pushing around 625, 630. And I have 295s in the rear. Mike still has to stock 285. So it was, I think, uh, they were telling us that for the, the 20 uh, roll in, no, the 30 roll in second gear, you got some wheel spin yeah, there. Wheel spin. Right. I, I did not get some wheel spin. It kind of, it actually hooked up pretty well. And it was drizzling right before we met up. Not that it rained all that much, but. No, but in the side-by-side -side runs with the downpipes, definitely your car sounds amazing. Yeah. I, I watched the video the other day with Alex driving it. Yeah. I was laughing my ass off so bad. <laughs> I'm like, it will never end. I was going to send you a picture of an AK-47. Right. <laughs> Tommy but, gun. But it, it sounded so good. When we took off from that low roll at 20 miles an hour, Yeah. it was just... I. If I was keeping the car, I wish I would, well, if I was keeping the car, I'd definitely had downpipe. Right, right. Definitely. It's, it's a definitely a huge improvement. Yeah, so Mike, the crazy guy, is looking to trade this beautiful car in, but he is looking to replace it with a, another very awesome car. He's 95% sure, I think, that it will be. I have money be. down on it. Oh, you have money down on it. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I just so, don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. Do you want to tell the people what it is? Yeah, or? The BMW M3 CS. I am a BMW fanboy. Yes. If you guys have uh, seen the plate on Mike's car, Rogue you, M3. you would understand that he is a BMW fan. He traded the M and previous M3 in for this car right here. And now he's looking to go back to an M3. But you're going to get one in frozen white, which frozen is a blue. Fro frozen blue, sorry, which is a limited edition color. So it's going to be one of around 100 in the country, correct? And, yeah, and an M3 CS is a limited production run of only 1,200 worldwide. Right. So 500 or so coming to the United States. Um, we'll see. It's a, the price point's pretty high on it. People said, well, why would you get a regular M3 and just add all the mods to it? But those same people that say that, when you add all the mods that are on that car, you're right. over $100,000 anyway. Correct. So what's the difference? Correct. Well, Mike, uh, I, I would miss you not having this car because uh, we're pretty much the only ones we knew know in Pittsburgh that have these cars. So we can meet up and... But there still is a chance that 2019... C63S, uh -huh. and there's always a possibility I might go to the GTS. Okay, okay, all right. So he's not 100% sure. Uh, either way, it's going to be exciting for the future. My car is not going anywhere. We know that. Unless the Ferrari F12 comes along and <laughs> the Ferrari F12. <laughs> well, of course. But the thing is, I want to keep the Benz. I don't want to trade it in. I want to have this car plus a Ferrari F12 in the future or a 458. As long as it has a Navitech exhaust on a Ferrari, that's what I want. There's no other sound. I mean, definitely not even this car, although it sounds amazing, uh, that can beat a Ferrari with a Navitech yeah, Ferrari, exhaust. Ferraris are musical instruments. Yes, they are. They definitely are. Well, we both got to run, so uh, I'll see you guys back at the garage. Okay, back home. Fun video, huh? I felt that it's worth noting that most of the tunes that you can get for uh, the C63, they're pretty similar no matter what company you go with. Like I have Ellis Design Works, Mike had Dynan, you can go with Ystec, Eurocharge, all these different tuner companies. When you do a stage two tune like I have, I mean that pretty much ups the power for a C63S at least to around 610 horsepower from 103. And that's sort of what Mike is pushing. I, I have the downpipes which adds around an, an extra 15 to 20 horsepower. Now the torque numbers for my car uh, are supposedly around 650. They're probably around uh, it's sort of the same for Mike's car as well, maybe 635, 640, something like that. So I feel like it's the downpipes that made the difference in this little Mexico trip that we had. Uh, because all the races were pretty even, um, although the beast came out on top. But now before we end the video, we do have to open some mail. I've got quite a lot of stuff here recently and I haven't found the right opportunity to open it, but we're going to do that now. So here we have something from Igor in New Jersey. Got a note? Hi Mike, I've been watching your channel since your viral video about throwing away a car key while driving. 
and I must admit that I truly enjoy your videos. I would like to see more off-road content on your channel, but I'm not sure you will do it because your trucks are so pretty and you want cars to be clean. By the way, I really like how you upgraded your F-150. Now it looks super cool. Thank you so much. Right now, I'm visiting my aunt in the U.S., but I'm from Russia. I live in Ekaterinburg. Sorry if I'm messing that up there. It's the city where the Swedish team beat Mexico with three goals. Well, that's cool. I noticed that you were watching the World Cup, and I decided to bring some souvenirs for you from Russia. I hope you enjoy them. And go for it, Sweden. The Swedish team is really good in this championship. Regards, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Uh, yeah, the Swedish team, they did go to the quarterfinal, but and we got our uh, butts beaten by England. So let's see what we have here. All right, so here we have, oh, this looks like a, a magnet of some sort. It's like a 2018 uh, FIFA World Cup. Maybe it's the mascot or something. Thank you so much. This is really cool. This is a nice souvenir. Thank you. And then we, you also sent a World Cup trophy. You know what? That's pretty cool. I'm actually going to keep this in the packaging. Yeah, I'm going to preserve this thing. Thank you so much, Igor. Really appreciate it. And then we have a letter here from Dennis Ferguson in Lithonia, Georgia. Hey Mike, stop what you're doing. Sit down and plan this out for me and all of your other viewers. Drag race the F-150 and the Raptor against one another. Epic content, okay? <laughs> it would be awesome if your wife would race you, but we've seen her face when you drive fast. LOL, so that probably won't happen. Sidebar, I've written you once before with a picture of my 2010 Dodge Avenger printed on the page, but I've since wrecked that car. I have an Audi A4 manual now. I'm starting a YouTube channel. Thank you for making it seem so fun. Keep keep it up, yes, Swede. LOL. Sorry, no gifts for the Princess Sydney. Regards, Dennis. My channel YouTube is at Audi My Mind. And Instagram is, it seems like, underscore Audi my mind. And then he has a picture here of his new car. Really nice. That's cool, Dennis. Good luck with your new channel, everyone. Make sure you go and check him out and show him some love. Now we have another package here from Bill Parsons in Wesley Chapel, Florida. And by the way, uh, for anyone who is wondering, my P.O. Box address is always in the description below. Hey Mike, thought you would like this. I watch your videos from start to finish. They are so enjoyable. Keep up the great work you're doing. Bill, Tampa, Florida. Thank you, Bill. What do we have in here? Oh, what? Look at that. I think this is only the second time that someone sent me a uh, little toy car. And it's not just any little toy car. It's a DTM Mercedes. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Bill. I really appreciate that that up and off. And we're moving along here. We got another box. Pretty big one here. Let's see what this is. What the heck is this? Oh, what? Someone sent me a third brake light from Anso. And it's not from Anso, but someone sent, sent it to me. It's Anso who makes them. A lot of you guys have been complaining about my third brake light uh, still being red. So this is really cool. We gotta see if there's a note here. Hey Mike, I just want to start out by saying you are my favorite channel that I follow on YouTube and I love the content you put up. I also wanted to tell you that the F-150 is looking really good and I love the blackout theme. That's why I got you the Ansel Smoked third brake light. Hope you like it, I really do. Sorry about the big box. Also, I wanted to ask if when the new Ford Edge ST comes out, can you do a review on it if possible? Thank you, keep up the great content. Moises, well, thank you so much Moises. I'll you know definitely be making a video of installing this here on the F-150. This is really cool, I really, really appreciate it. And yes, when the new Edge ST comes out, I'll make it a priority to review that car. Thank you so much once again. And then, oh no. <laughs> yeah, this is from the PA Turnpike. I, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to open this real quick and see what the fine is because I did indeed run through a toll booth and I don't have an EC pass. So uh, let's see how much this is here. 53 bucks. Well, I'll be darned. So, uh, yeah. Get an easy pass or pay uh, the toll when you drive through there on the PA Turnpike. 
Okay, so for today's video, last but not least, this is from Charles. Hi Mike, my name is Charles. I'm a sales rep for a men's grooming company based in Montreal, Canada called Groom. We craft all natural beard care and shaving products, which are all handmade in our workshop. I've been following your YouTube channel for quite some time now and I simply cannot miss one video. I love your personality, your family, and the content you create week in and week out. You seem to gather a great number of guys and girls, whether they are into cars or not, all that much, and that's amazing. So congrats, you really deserve all that is happening to you. Keep doing your thing. Thank you so much, Charles. And then he goes on talking about the products that he's sent here, which we, of course, will take a look at. Um, I really hope you enjoy our products. Feel free to give us a shout out and your feedback. If any of your subscribers want to try them out, I made a 15% disc Count code at checkout on our website lessindustriesgroom.com with the code autoblog15. So we're going to take a look at these products here real quick and for anyone that is interested you can go to lessindustriesgroom.com and use the promo code autoblog15 to save some money. Look at that, their whole little lineup here. Cool packaging, I gotta say. I like the design, that is actually pretty important. All right, check this out. So we got Nettoyant au Barbe, beard wash. There, it smells good. I can smell it just through the bottles. Really nice. I like it a lot. And here we got a shaving cream, cool. Again, smells very good. Mmm, yeah. And then we got aftershave balm. And then we have some beard oil. I don't know if I have enough beard to use an oil in my beard, but anyway, it is really, really cool. So big thanks to Charles. Uh, make sure you check out lessindustriesgroom.com and use the promo code autoblog15 if you choose to check these guys out. I like uh, you know startup businesses, small businesses, and stuff like that. So definitely go and show them some love. Try their products out. And with that, this video is officially over. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a fun day racing my buddy Mike. Make sure you go check him out on Instagram as well, as he does have a new car coming. So it's going to be really, really exciting. But if you're stopping by this channel for the first time and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.